Paleo Joe here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about prepping fossils. A lot of you have had a lot of questions about how to prep these things. There's a couple different ways to do it. Mechanically, we use either an air abrasive unit, like a mini sandblaster, and we also use mini jacks or micro jacks. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is using the micro jack. But before we get into all that, safety is one of our main concerns. If you don't have a dust evacuation system or a prep box, the prep box is basically a box with two holes in the front for your arms, got a glass top, and it's got a dust evacuation system. If you don't have that, you got to make sure that you have some sort of uh, breathing protection. Uh, this is an ex uh, excellent example of one of the breathing protection uh, things that I use. Uh, you can also use dust masks, the kind that surgeons and doctors use, but by far this respirator is the best way to go. You also want to make sure you have some eye protection, especially when using the micro jack outside a box, the, the particles will fly off the, uh, uh, off the creature. Now this is actually a fossil of a fish uh, from the Green River Formation, and I'm going to be using the micro jack to clean some of that off. First thing you want to do is when you turn it on, I've got my compressors out in the garage. This is actually an air unit. Uh, it's hooked up uh, by tube to the compressor. I've also got a, uh, uh, a system here to pull water out of the air. But what we do is we want to go at it at a shallow angle. Let's go ahead and try that. And especially with these Green River fish, the matrix comes off very easily. And you can see how quickly it's coming off and it's leaving the fish behind. Uh, you want to make sure you go at it with a very shallow angle. If you go at it with a steep angle, you're going to end up uh, driving holes into the exoskeleton. But again, here's a great way to uh, clean the fish from the Green River formation. You can see how nicely it's breaking away uh, from the actual creature, from the bones. And I'm going to shut up for a minute and let you guys see how this is working. And you can see it's very simple and it's just literally cleaving away uh, from the fish and it's exposing the fish beautifully. And this is how we clean a lot of Green River Formation fossils, just by using a micro jack. Uh, some people use uh, a mini sandblaster. Uh, I don't use that, I just use this micro jack. And you see what a beautiful job it's doing cleaning the fish. so hard once I start doing this I don't want to stop but I don't want to waste a lot of your time but again this is the way uh, we clean a lot of our fossils we either use a uh, micro jack or a mini jack uh, or use an air abrasive system and in this way we can clean and prepare the fossil and make them look really beautiful so you can put them up in your uh, fireplace mantle or somewhere in your house and really enjoy the fossils that you find so just a quick little uh, video on how we clean some of the fossils that we find thanks a lot and y'all take it easy we'll see you later